Have you ever wondered what a million dollars gets you in New York City? In New York City, we have five boroughs. So there's Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island. I'm gonna show you a listing in each borough. I'm gonna show you the monthly payment difference. And I'm gonna to talk to you about who's the potential buyer for that listing. Come join me on this tour. So when I say New York City in all of my Instagram reels, everyone berates me because they think New York City only means Manhattan. That's slightly true, but New York City has five boroughs. So I'm gonna show you a typical $1 million co-op. This one is a two bed, two bath. Co-ops predominantly uh, dominate the real estate market in Manhattan. So we're gonna see this one, 414 East 52nd Street in Turtle Bay, which is in Midtown East. We're on to East 52nd Street and First Avenue. And also, if you guys wonder um, condo versus co-op, I also did a video on showing the differences. So we're gonna, we're gonna link that. This building is cool because it has a courtyard. It connects actually uh, four buildings. So three of the buildings are connected through this courtyard. And it's a beautiful day in New York City. Is that common that you have those kind of backyards? I didn't expect it at all. Um, it, every building is different. It has its own set of amenities. Some buildings have a roof deck. Most buildings don't have this courtyard. This is what makes this building actually special. Um, the apartment you guys saw that one doesn't have laundry in the unit. There's laundry in the building. Some co-ops, they allow laundry in the unit. Um, and then you sold the doorman and stuff, so they accept your packages, and that's pretty common for this area in Matt. All right, guys, so next stop is Astoria, Queens. I'm gonna show you what a million dollars get you in Queens. And uh, what do you guys think so far? Would you live in Manhattan? Would you like that apartment? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you this building behind me called the Siena. It just launched. It's a new condo building in Astoria starting at $825,000, but there are some apartments at a million dollars. We are gonna see one bedrooms. So for Astoria, it's on the high end of the range, but the reason why I wanna show you this project is because it's in a really prime location in Astoria on Crescent Street. It's very close to the train. You get to Midtown in 20 minutes, and there's a huge food scene as well. Uh, this building is about 24 units, has parking, has a roof deck, has bicycle storage, has all the amenities you could want. The real amenity of this building is the neighborhood. All right guys, let's check it out. So look at this developer's attention in detail. I love the colors. And these towels were imported for Italy. Like, this is awesome. I love this waiting area. You do have the parking over here. That's a huge amenity for this neighborhood because it's really hard to find parking. The spots are going for $65,000, so it's not included. Okay, right, so we're gonna take a look at the apartments now. So we can't use the elevator just yet. It is a new construction building, so we're gonna have to take the stairs. All right, guys, go check this one out now. All 
Oh, look at this cool doorbell. It's like a visual doorbell. There you go. <laughs> Most new buildings in New York City now, they only have electric. Yeah. Plus you have extra storage. All of the one bedrooms in this building, they go from 800,000 all the way up to a million dollars, like just above a million dollars. How much would this apartment cost in Manhattan? This apartment would, depending on which location in Manhattan, in Upper Manhattan, it could probably be around, I would say $650,000, but in Lower Manhattan, it could be well above a million dollars, I would say about 1.4. All right guys, so this is the roof deck. As mentioned earlier, this building has parking. You saw the beautiful lobby. You saw the apartments with outdoor space. And this is why you move to Queens. Like you get the best views of New York City outside of Manhattan. Queens has some of the best food in all the city for affordable prices. So let me know in the comments so far, let me know if you move to Queens for this price point. All right guys, so we're at the third stop. We're in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. When most people think of Brooklyn, they think of townhouses, but townhouses today in Brooklyn are well over a million dollars. So I'm gonna show you my new listing at 545 Lexington. It's a brand new condo building, but it's actually townhouse alternative. So it's not the typical uh, condos like you saw in Astoria or the co-op you saw in, on East 52nd Street. There, you have a duplex on the first floor with garden and outdoor space. Plus you have a triplex on the second and third floor with a roof deck. So let's take a look. And even though it's slightly above a million dollars at 1.295, the low monthlies actually gives it the same monthly payment as the co-op you saw on East 52nd Street. So let's take a look. All right, so unit number one, uh, it's a duplex. So you're on the garden level, then, you're on the, then you have the second floor, which I call the sleeping quarters. What I like about this garden level, you're actually slightly above street level. So you, you get the privacy. People, when they're walking past the front windows, they can't see you, but you have this amazing garden back here. So most people, they want to buy a townhouse in Brooklyn, not only because of the privacy, but because of the outdoor space. In addition to this garden, you actually have a balcony off of the primary bedroom upstairs. Let me show you my favorite part. Sunroom, which could be used as an office. And then this roof deck. Look at these views. So what do you guys think? You guys saw a Manhattan, you saw Queens, and now you saw Brooklyn. Comment below where you would move so far. 
And if you want to know how to Ford 545 Lexington, we're going to link the video up here. That way you can see that video as well. Now time to show you what's next. All right, guys, on our fourth stop, we're in the Bronx. I'm going to show you what a million dollars gets you here in the Bronx. We're in the Riverdale section and just a teaser, it gets you a whole house. So let's take a look. This block is really nice. Take a look at this block. First level, I'm gonna show you the two bedrooms, the kitchen and the bathroom on this level. There's two outdoor spaces. You have a terrace, then you have the backyard, then below us you have the basement, which is actually elevated, and the garage. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the basement section of this house. Um, it's interesting because it's actually elevated. Most basements are underneath ground level. We're actually one story up. And you have like the washer, mechanicals. You could build uh, a studio. That's what the agent said. You could build like a separate studio and maybe rent it out. Um, and then here you have like, you have this like little attic section and you could probably build something here and then you have the gr parking for the the garage all right guys check out this backyard so it's right behind the kitchen look how big this backyard is you have this shed area back here and then check out the house from the back side like where you could tell we're up on a hill so you have a bedroom or like an office here. You can check it out, show the viewers. This is this would be like the living space. This would be dining. You have a bedroom here. Bathroom. Another bedroom. I would say the only thing about this house, it definitely needs some updating, but at this price, I mean, it's definitely worth it. And this is like the stairs, I guess. So they both have access to the backyard. You guys saw both of the units. If you had to live in one of them, which one would you live in? Comment below. I think I will live in unit one because it has that extra space downstairs. But. All right, guys. So what do you guys think about this house? Comment below. So far, you saw Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx. Now time for Staten Island. See you soon. All right, guys. So we're in the Forgotten Borough, Staten Island. We're on the South Shore. I'm going to show you this house behind me. It was listed for $895,000 by Kevin Bryant from Joe Time Rooms team, who's also at Compass. It's 2,600 square feet. It's a two family house. It's semi-detached. Well, it's actually fully detached with a garage. They listed it at 895 and it went above asking. So that means the Staten Island market is very vibrant. Let me show you why this house went over asking. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the first out of the two units. There's one flight up, kitchen here. The owners are moving out because closing day is this week. Back here you have a bathroom with a jacuzzi tub and shower. You have two bedrooms. This is the second bedroom. And then this is the third bedroom. So it's three bed, one bath. So this unit also has this nice terrace. 
this is like the perfect day for this because I was just suntan all day here. So we just checked it out. It's three bedrooms, one bath. I'm gonna show you the laundry downstairs and the basement. So this house is 2,600 square feet. And then I'm gonna show you the second unit. All right, so there's laundry here. And this unit has another bathroom actually. So this is like a powder room. So this would be good for like guests. This is pretty interesting, right? So you have a room here and then you have this big space here. So the house does need some updating, but we're gonna drop the monthly payment below on the screen. And when you see the second unit, you'll realize why someone would pay this price because the monthly mortgage is gonna be very cheap or affordable for this house size. Mini kitchenette, they probably, they probably rented this space out at one point. All right, so we just found another bedroom. So three bedrooms upstairs, fourth one here. We just showed you downstairs. We just keep finding bedrooms in this place. <laughs> so this is why this house went over ask. So you have this second unit. It's a two bedroom, one bath. So they use this as the second bedroom. And this is obviously the living slash dining place. You have a kitchen here, which is actually eating kitchen because you could put a, uh, like a breakfast nook there. And then you have a bedroom back here. And a full bath. This apartment would rent for around $2,500. So I think the mortgage for this entire house would be around $5,000 with 20% down. We're gonna drop the numbers again, but I think it's gonna be around 5,000. So, I mean, basically half of your mortgage is like paid with a, with a tenant. Then they will probably share this space I would probably say it would need like fifty to hundred thousand dollars of updating, but then the house could be like worth like one point one to one point two. And this buyer, I mean, we're about a, we drove here. We're we're an hour from South Brooklyn, so we're an hour from the city, from actually like Brooklyn, Manhattan. Probably like a yeah, like an hour ten minutes from Manhattan. If you're if you're taking public transportation, you're taking an express bus, which go cuts through New Jersey. We're on the South Shore of Staten Island, so. It'll take you about an hour and 25 minutes to get to Midtown Manhattan from here, which is not terrible for this price, but you're not traveling to the city every weekend. You're probably gonna go to Jersey Shore instead. So what do you guys think of this one? So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, was it Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, or the Bronx that was your favorite? In my opinion, the best value was the one in Manhattan and the one in Brooklyn. I'm a little biased because those are my listings, but I think those are the best. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys next week.